Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, with our Peruvian adventures, our day is going to be to a little town called Chulicanas. Now it is supposed to be, everything that we read online, this is supposed to be a really unique place where artisans are um, very crafty in their pottery making and not just normal everyday stuff, but something really unique. And so I don't get excited about buying a whole lot of things, but I was really hoping to find some nice pottery while we were in Peru. So our day started out as normal. Santiago negotiated our ride and we got us a taxi and it took us over to Chulicanas. And we started walking through town, which was amazing. I'm going to say this was the cutest little town. It had so much greenery in the desert. So, you know, I said, whenever you find green in the desert, you should really take a look at what they're doing. So it was just beautiful. The square in town was beautiful. Um, so we had super high hopes walking down the sidewalk. They had all these benches with greenery surrounding the benches. It was just absolutely beautiful. So we're walking through town. Santiago gets some instructions on how to find the street where all this awesome pottery is. So we got instructions. Then we walked for a couple of blocks and a couple of blocks more. And we're looking around and it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't see anything. Where'd the pottery go? So we got some more instructions. And so we had to turn around and go back the other way. It is on that street. And we found one pottery shop. So deflating after you're so looking forward to all of these artisans making this gorgeous pottery. So we went in. It was okay. It was a dark little room and had some interesting pieces, but not really what I'm looking for. So... Santiago goes back out, works a little bit more of his Santiago magic, and he finds another neighborhood that has more pottery. So then we have to find us a taxi driver, so he finds us a moto taxi guy. And I don't think anybody really knew where this, they kind of knew, but they didn't really know. So he starts taking us down the road and goes to this little neighborhood and gets some instructions and lo and behold, we come across another gorgeous little street with two pottery shops and they're not quite open yet. So the first one opened up when we went in and it was all pretty commercial. So I'm going like, ah, oh, this is so deflating. And as I'm walking around, I noticed, hey, there's a whole nother room. There's no doors locking me out, so I'm gonna venture on back there because everything back there was covered with a huge amount of dust, but had some really interesting pieces. And so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I've hit the jackpot. So we went in, yes, it had the most amazing pieces. And here I am looking around, picking out these incredible little pieces and go up and say, okay, how much, how much are these? Oh, we can't sell those. Those, those aren't, you know, those are originals. We dug those up. And so those aren't for sale. And it's like, oh, oh no. I find the perfect pieces and I can't buy them. And she says, but I have a few more replicas. If you go a little further down in the room, those darker pieces are replicas. And so I'm like, okay. So we go on down. I find some just fine pieces for me. They're exactly what I'm wanting. And take them up. And yes, she will sell them to me. So Santiago is giving me a hard time. Well, you haven't even seen what they have next door. And it's like, well, yeah, but... I found what I was looking for. So I found exactly what I was looking for. 
So I gladly purchased them and I will say the taxi driver did an incredible job because now she's looking at them going, are these the replicas or are these the originals? And so he was going, no, 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 look, here's this little symbol on them. So these are definitely replicas. And so I got two pieces, turned around, the taxi driver's buying some as well. So I think it was a good day for her. Can't find Santiago. Go next door because it's now open. Here he is buying out the store. He's like buying all kinds of stuff. And it's like, oh my gosh, I've corrupted the taxi driver and I've corrupted Santiago. They're both buying pottery. And it's like, okay, now we got to get all this stuff back in the moto taxi to get us back to town. It was an adventure all by itself. So once we had all purchased, all of us, all three of us purchased our goodies, we hopped back in the taxi and we head back. Well, it wouldn't be a day in Peru if you didn't have a little bit more adventure added to it. So it was, I don't know, about a 30 minute ride to get to this little town. So about halfway back, the tire starts losing air. It just like does a big puff and starts losing air. And it's like, oh no, now, because <laughs> we're in the middle of nowhere and uh, losing air in the tire. So the taxi driver, he's, no, 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 it's okay. So he takes Santiago out, puts him on the rack in the back. And so we all have to lean onto the left side to keep the pressure off that one tire. Yeah, I think we bought too much stuff. But anyhow, we leaned to the left all the way to a gas station. And then he filled it back up with air and then everything's just hunky-dory so it was a it was an interesting trip but then Santiago could get back into the taxi and uh, so he took us back to the shared taxi space and he was he was an absolutely wonderful taxi driver once again takes us to the shared taxi space there was a car fixing to leave and so off we went I mean we didn't even wait it was loaded up and we hopped in and took off and went back to Pura for our day. Now this is a shorter day, but I will have to say we stopped, we left early, but because we didn't think we'd make it back in time for checkout, um, Santiago negotiated with the people at the hotel. Of course, he knew some of them. And we were able to check out of our rooms, but leave the car in their secured parking space. And so we came back and gathered our things. Ha! Huh? Security at its best. So we're leaving Pura today and we're heading towards the coast. Enjoy the pictures of our journey towards Colan. And we'll see you next time for our days at the beach, which were incredible. And we're picking up a friend while we're there and gonna bring her back with us.